look what we have found here. Becca has found love in Myanmar. <laughs> She's got a little beauty dog. What are you going to name it? Oh, I don't know. Snuggles. <laughs> Snuggles? So original. <laughs> That's as much as she can come up with right now. <laughs> On the spot. But it's really cute. Very, very cute. It's getting dark. You can hear the Buddhist monks singing and teaching in the background. We're here on this property. Even the uh, driver who's not a believer has kind of pitched in. And he even helped feed the kids earlier. And uh, he's even wanting to play. So maybe we've touched this man's heart. And uh, I know the kids are having fun. That guy's been singing or preaching or whatever he's doing all night long. Buddhist monk from a monastery or a pagoda somewhere near here. It's 6 a.m. here in this coastal city. And uh, we're about to see what it's like to start the day with the kids at the orphanage. So we're headed that way to hopefully catch some of them still asleep. If not, we'll at least get an early start on seeing how they prepare for breakfast and get ready for their day at school. We'll spend a little bit of time with them. We had a beautiful night last night with them. Um, they have no electricity now for some reason. And we put um, candles on the floor and these wooden blocks and just had a real sweet time. So. What a wonderful blessing it was to be with them. I told them a story. I made a story up for them, kind of like I did with my kids at home, about some kids who lived uh, in a little house with a little sweet woman, and they were Christian children, and made some parallels to their own life and tried to make an example and taught them how we're all in a story. And that, um, what you know, to consider what role we're playing. So anyway. We're having a good day so far. It's beautiful. I had a great night's sleep. Maybe the open window. Fresh air. Did me some good. We're here at the Rakhine Orphanage Center. Oh my goodness. And uh, we're trying to get the sense of what goes on here on the average day. So we got here early and we've been watching them. Uh, they built a fire to keep warm because it's very cold. It's like 60, 65 degrees. Uh, they're feeding their chickens. And um, this little fellow in the doorway here, he's putting on his tanika, which is the decorative colors that you see on their faces. And Miriam is building a fire over here. She's blowing on the coals. And she's getting ready to cook the rice for the day. So we asked if we could come and see this, and they said we could, so here we are. The dogs here are not just uh, little cute fuzzy things, even though that's what they are to us right now. These dogs are helping to protect the place. Uh, there's a very bad problem around here with people stealing things. And so people steal and they gotta have these dogs. One day this dog hopefully will grow up to be a ferocious man-eating guard dog. I don't know if that's gonna happen. He may make it in our suitcase back home. What do you think, Beck? Yeah. yeah. 